Hello, this is Mesa, and this is a commentary video on the Poland Total War. So, let's just speed up a little bit and wait until I get my army into position, and I will take a look at the units. Yeah, I got a good mix of uh, cavalry, line M3, um, skirmish units, and also a single unit of artillery. I think I set the rule for this at um, one artillery. Max? I can't remember. It's been a while since I played this. Well, the battle is underway. Let's put it into slow motion then. I uh, Let's just see here. I got a unit of uh, something I can't pronounce right here, but it's basically uh, Lance Cavalry. I got one, two, three, three units of Musketeers right here, and a Foot Guard. Got my, uh, um, <clears throat> I got my General Staff right here. And as I said, I got my howitzers right there, my seven pounder. I got two units of uh, hussars, one unit of uh, hussar and a lancer. I got one, two, yes, just two units of musketeers, and I got a Silurian Schutzen, Prussian, Prussian Fusilier, and another unit of Silesian Schutzen. Yeah, that's it. And my opponent is playing as France. He has a unit of Artillerie Cheval, so he will um, be able to set up his artillery uh, sooner than me, I think. I think so, at least. Anyway, besides that, he has the general unit of uh, Marshal Sult. He's somewhere in here. Well, anyway, he got uh, five units, I think. No, four units. No, actually five. There's the last one. Of first layers of lime, and he got, as I said, the artillery at Cheval, and he got a unit of young guard, and um, on this flank right there, uh, his outflanking force, which you will see engage my line later on, got a unit of young guard, a unit of chasseurs, not a unit of chasseurs, a unit of carabiners, and he should have a. There we go, vulture shoes. So we'll see how that battle pans out. But uh, the initial phase of the battle was just me trying to uh, get a good posi position on my enemy, and he doing the same. Uh, what that means is basically rush to the buildings, at least for my opponent's uh, side of things, and uh, yeah, hunker down on them and um, <laughs> make me attack them. This building has fallen to the enemy. Yeah, as I said, but uh, not in the way I think he hoped, but yeah, we'll s you'll see what I mean about that. This battle is quite long, so I think I will be, um, I will be fast forwarding quite a lot. But anyway, my skirmish has got off some shots. This building has fallen to the enemy! As you can see, killed 16 men right there. And hopefully the frame rate will actually keep up with me. Yeah, his flanking force is coming along nicely, and I'm taking these three units to meet them. But I uh, am later going to take my foot guards, which are guarding my artillery, over and help out. Yeah, I basically put this here because uh, my cavalry was a bit um, bad placed for defending that. Well, it's adequate, but still, a um, cavalry unit could uh, just ride through and hit it. And this artillery piece actually becomes critical later on, and you will see why. So I will soon move on in my Silesian Sili Schutzen into this farmhouse. I will take some casualties, but it's, in the end it's not going to make too much of a difference because... Well, a unit in an entrenched position shooting as a not unit in an uh, entrenched position... Well... <laughs> if you don't know what will happen, uh, basically think about World War One. So I set up uh, some stakes right there, so I at least protected a frontal attack on my howitzers. And I was a bit delayed of sound. Hmm. Anyway, um. As you can see, my uh, howitzer is actually pounding away at this building, and his unit is holding it. Will uh, 
are not too happy about that and they will actually leave the building soon and that's what I'm using my artillery for. We have taken a building, sir. Yeah. Here the entrenching war actually began. But uh, his artillery is actually going to target my open units. This is a, a good idea. Um, but some of them do miss because well they're foot artillery to the truth just straight forward beside my um how it's exactly uh, lob exploding shots so they do get an advantage in, at uh, that regard so here seeing this attack All hope is lost, sir. this battle is almost done yeah and the announcer is uh, a bit mad I don't know uh, what <laughs> he was actually uh, what actually made him say that or in other words what actually made uh, the total war game as you can see in the balance part say that I'm losing this battle but hey, that what happens. Bit of a glitch, I guess. Anyway, as I was trying to say when I was getting interrupted, is that I, um, I'm going to move my cavalry up here and I'm preparing a flanking charge. I'm not doing that yet because he's too far away, and I'm afraid of his, uh, especially his um, young guard, which are somewhere here. There they are. So, as I said, I was going to do. I moved over my foot guards and. They are ready to help if uh, things go awry, so that's that. Now's a good time to speed up again, I think. So these men actually leave the house, and they do get blasted by several of my of my uh, skirmishing troops. And meanwhile, his artillery is still pounding away at my at my guys, but they are getting this like max to the enemy. Uh, max two men are shot, and more often than not, they don't get the man at all. Yeah, so he moved uh, his troops uh, back here, actually. Now, th this is a fresh unit, but uh, he moved his uh, first layoff line, which are now at half strength, back here. And I changed my target of my artillery to his artillery. And I do get minor results. We'll see about that. Oh, the fight's on. Yeah, so he moved up his guys. Um, is am I able to shoot back? Yeah, I am. On this flank, at least. But here... My units are actually firing straight into the ground, just uh, in front of them. But uh, then again, my opponent is doing the same. But I soon realized that uh, these musketeers is actually facing chasseurs, and line infantry is superior to uh, skirmishing units in uh, melee. So that's just what I'm going to do. And the Zion Guard is not engaged right now. Yeah, stray bullet just kind of passed right by him. That's what's telling me that. But, is anything happening right here? Nah. Well, I took out the cannon. That's worth mentioning, I guess. Meanwhile, this is the flank that matters. My units are engaging in a furious miss missile. <laughs> missile? Uh, melee. A fight with my uh, enemy chest cells. And as you can see, they will break before me. Just by numbers and by quality. Uh, at least in melee. But uh, I, didn't, I don't think he was paying attention right there, or else he would have taken his young guard and uh, faced my foot guards, I think. But anyway, he didn't. And where's my cavalry? Oh, there they are. Uh, they will eventually move a pair and then uh, charge down into his young guard and try to break them. But uh, in the meanwhile, I did break his chasseurs, but then he sent in his carabiners. And they will actually route this unit, even though they are a missile cab and not a melee cab. But oh well. Cavalry is daunting nonetheless, I guess. Are these guys actually hitting us already? Yeah, now they are. Hmm. Oh, sending in his carabiners in to try to hit these guys. Oh, I didn't actually see that. Our men are running, sir. Well, nothing much happening right here. Yeah, my man actually broke right there, so I sent in my Hussars, well I did that pretty much pretty early, but still, I sent in my Hussars and I'm uh, going for his Carabiners, as you can see these units are as well, so, well, what can I do? Well anyway, his units are getting uh, absolutely crapped on right there by my flanking force, I think these casualties are, um, are uh, only made by my footguards, at least up to this point because now's the time for the cavalry 
and they will absolutely wreck them with help of my footguards and my regular musketeers. So my cavalry is now squaring off against uh, his cavalry and his Walter Jewess, and his young guard is, face is facing my cavalry, and here is pretty much the same. Um, well, he actually moved up this unit of young guard, but it, it's uh, one unit facing uh, one unit of musketeers and two units of marksmen. So that's not going too well for him. Our men are running, sir. Hmm. Yeah, actually, uh, took out my Silesian Schutzen from this uh, building and placed them here. On this flank, it's going rather well for me. I routed every single unit besides the one Carabiner, and they will uh, break pretty soon. Hmm. This is Young Guard. Huh. Nowhere to be seen. Oh, there they are. Completely broke. Completely shattered, I mean. So, too bad for them. Meanwhile, I got a bit too close to his cannon, so they are able to to shoot cancer shots at me. No, not too good, but still. Um, they are at a, I think a close to maximum range for it, so it's not too devastating. But it's still pretty devastating. But so are my artillery. And even though this is a very elite unit, they will break it. But in the meanwhile, he took his uh, depleted units of the clear front line and actually charged my Silesian Schutzen. And he will manage to break them, but he does sacrifice his uh, first leaves of life doing that. So here he actually goes for the uh, same trick with his first leaves of line, uh, eventually Our at least. Men are running, sir. Yeah, there we go. They are going for my uh, Prussian first lier, but they are getting shot by uh, the regular line of three in the back. And that's not too good for them, but then again, so are my units. They are getting shot by my own units. Right in the back. And now this unit of young guard is actually feeling quite well about themselves. We'll see about that later though. So I completely mucked up uh, um, my left flank, his right flank, and I'm moving my foot guards over to take part in this battle, along with my um, depleted musketeers and my cavalry, which I'm now actually <laughs> going straight for general, maybe not the wisest of ideas, but I think I actually tried to target his artillery. Our men are we'll see about that though. I don't think I'll kill this general. I think I'll move on to bigger and better targets. If possible. But anyway, as uh, I said, he charged his first lease of line and, well, his young guard actually broke. Finally. Yeah. That did hold up a long time, but still, when you have 31 guys left in the unit, they will break, so. So this first layer of line will eventually break, but they are going to hold out a long time. Stupid. Stupid France. Having such an elite army. Oh well, the Prussians are not too bad either. So here I actually route his and break his artillery. So now my artillery force is the only um, only artillery remaining on the battlefield. But... I actually wasn't paying attention to my cavs, so they did get routed by his two units of first leaves of line. And speaking of first leaves of line, his first leaves of line is uh, actually facing my musketeers. And it's a battle I, th uh, um, I s uh, thought he was going to win. But I have a reinforcing foot guards coming up right behind them, so he will eventually make a charge. Yeah, it's going to make a charge pretty soon because he moves up the general right there to provide some moral support. And seeing that, I move up my own general. Even though it's just a general staff, a generic, generic general staff. So here it goes in for a first list of line, and the announcer is going to tell you that these units don't have any more ammunition, so One that worked out. That worked out pretty fine. Yeah, he just said it. And I'm going to take these units and go in for a melee charge. I think I'm going to do this, um, the same with these guys. 90 against 68. And I'm going to join in with my foot guards and pretty much demolish them. So the battle is still pretty equal. Yep, no um, units coming back from routing besides these. Can't remember if I actually um, put them back up to the front again. We'll see about that though. So what I have left is musketeers, almost full, so that's good. I have foot guards, elite units, almost full, that's good. 
I have uh, another unit of musketeers, but they don't have any ammunition. And I have um, a musketeer that I can back from routing. And I have the howitzers. So that's what I have in this battle. And now my foot guard is uh, doing work. Meanwhile, these fusilier supply is charging my musketeers. So we'll see how that goes. But this is what he has left at this point, beside this full unit of his lizard line, which he for some reason didn't bring up. I guess he didn't see them. So here I charge the general, his historical general. So killing him will uh, give a massive morale advantage. Or a morale drop, I guess. Um, in the meanwhile, both my musketeer and his first lizard line is getting. Uh, is getting uh, charged, uh, is getting hit by my artillery, but for some reason my musketeer didn't mind that, and his, um, well, they didn't they didn't like that pretty much. So what he had left now is a first layer of line, and I can't remember if actually lets this die, uh, lets this uh, be routed, or if he just gives up at this point. We'll see pretty soon, but you can see what uh, direction the battle is taking. Oh, poor announcer, making such uh, such bad bets. I thought you said I was going to lose this battle. Pretty much right the gate you said that. Oh well. It uh, turns out you're wrong. So, what remains is the devastation of this uh, unit of prisoners so of line. But uh, they break right there. So, good game to my opponents. I do believe it's name is Dean. Anyway, we will see that. Right here, yep, Dean. And I played it quite a long time ago, so I didn't know if the battle was up to par. But I guess what. Anyway, I deployed 1468 guys and lost 908 of them and killed 1112 of my enemy. He deployed 1548 guys, he lost 1182 guys, and he killed 817 of my men. So, good game to my opponent. It was a pretty even match uh, up until the end. And as you can see here, my musketeer actually killed them off, but they did lose a lot of men as well. Foot guards did best. Uh, did good, I mean. Um, I was going to say the line infantry did best, <laughs> but then I was thinking about the foot guards. Anyway, artillery, pretty good. And, oh, in this game you can't actually see the statistic of the enemy. Oh well, thank you for watching this battle, and I will see you guys next time.